Sometimes it may become necessary to have to check power in your lane machine. To do that, it's good to have a meter that can read both voltage AC and voltage DC, as well as continuity. We would use continuity to check fuses, resistors, things like that. What we're going to do right now is simulate a drive motor problem. First, we'll apply power to the lane machine. And our first point that we would like to check is incoming power. This is AC power. So we're going to put our meter on voltage AC. And you're going to unplug the red and white two-pin plug. Simply put your black lead to the white and your red lead to the red. You'll notice that we have 120 volts coming in. So we do have good power. Now we'll go ahead and turn on the drive motor. At your standard start screen, we'll depress the test output key until we reach the forward drive relay. Once there, we'll hit the on and off key. Now there's a couple of things we would like to look for. One is the actual light on the processor itself and the relay that is engaging. Yet we still do not have a drive motor. If you have a light coming on and off on the actual module itself, then that relay is working. At this point, we would like to change our meter to DC because the drive motor is actually going to have DC voltage supplied by the speed control that is located behind this cover. If you take your leads and go to the white brown and the white yellow, and check one side of the relay, we have no power coming out of either side. From this point, we would recommend that you unplug the lane machine and check your drive motor fuse. Now that we've removed the drive motor fuse, we're going to show you how to properly check that. We're going to go to continuity, but our meter also has audio when checking ohms, and low ohms on a fuse is good. That's not a problem. We're going to remove our fuse, make sure that we're not on any type of metal surface, and we have nothing. Now this is a good fuse, and a good fuse should test just like that. See, we're not completely zero, so if you have a little bit of low resistance, that's okay. And that is a problem with our drive motor. Now once we replace this fuse in the lane machine, that's going to send voltage to the drive motor, and we'll check all the different speeds. Now that we've found a good fuse with the machine unplugged, we're going to replace that drive motor fuse, and we're going to show you how to check all of your drive speeds. Now, as your speeds increase, so will your voltage. With power to the machine, we're going to hit the menu key until we get to our duster control reset, and we'll put in our first password to get into our manager's menus. Continue to hit the menu key until we get to Drive IPS Adjust. Now at this point, we're going to take our black lead and put that to the white-brown wire and our red lead to the white-yellow. And we're going to hit Next. That will advance us to our first drive speed. We can see on the meter we really don't have that many volts going to speed one. But watch what happens as we increase our speeds. 
That would be speed two. Speed three. Speed four. Speed five. Speed six, and finally high speed. And that is how we check DC voltage to the drive motor off of the side of the relay.